it's just up up the hillside there was the house. All that's left behind Jesse Furby's home, rubble. And all of a sudden, it just felt like getting hit by a freight train. Just before 7 Tuesday night, a home on June Place in Squim exploded. It's force hitting Jesse's home hard. It's just the, that feeling of getting hit um, makes you go blind for just milliseconds, but takes your eyesight, your breath, everything right away. The first thing he did was make sure his kids were OK. Yeah. They ran outside to try to help. Pretty much the whole thing was in flames within about 45 seconds. The entire house property was just engulfed in flames. When Clallam County firefighters got to the home, they saw flames shooting 40 feet into the air from propane tanks and pieces of the home thrown 100 feet in all directions. It's like it was snowing, you know, the aftermath of everything. Um, I could actually see a sheet of plywood that was flying through the air and it had landed on the neighboring house. Multiple homes nearby were damaged. Jesse's barn had windows broken and its foundation knocked off. All the pictures, clocks, everything in the house fell down. I mean, just shook it. One man was found dead in what's left of the home. The Clown County Sheriff's Office says it appeared to have started in the garage, but the cause is still unknown. Deputies called an ATF to help. Federal investigators ruled it an accident and say there's no foul play. The family was at the home. They've blocked off the road to stop people from driving by. The man who died has not been officially identified, but his family and neighbors tell me he was a good man. It's really sad. It really is because he's such a nice guy. In Swim, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.